first horn today, kind of a little show and tell. This is a DEG Mellophone Alto Thing, if you want to call it an Alto Cornet. Um, this is kind of a ballad horn, okay? And uh, believe it or not, the uh, Wilson actually made the valves to this, and I uh, found that a tenor horn, alto horn mouthpiece fits this really, really well. So I like to play this on ballads and stuff. So this is kind of a meet the horn sort of situation. <laughs> This is Dr. Morse, and this is the second in the Meet the Instruments series. I'm getting to uh, introduce uh, various instruments to you that I play, that I can uh, either teach or be hired for. Um, this right here is an alto thing, okay? It has many names, and uh, the first way you probably describe it is by the catalog entry in the 1974 Miraphone catalog and it lists it as a contralto horn in E flat slash F and the E flat slash F part comes to the point where it comes because you can take this E flat slide out and plunk in an F slide uh, Dr. Morris and this is episode three of my Meet the Instrument series and today I've got a great instrument. It is a very well uh, well worn B-flat marching trombone King Flugabone. These are fantastic horns. Okay. <laughs> of the gods from Das Rheingold, okay, to show you uh, another instrument. This is the fourth in a series of Meet My Instruments, okay. Today, I've got a Miraphone bass trumpet, okay, and it is pitched in B flat, three valves. Yes, I wish there was a fourth valve. Um, I use a bass trumpet mouthpiece, a true bass trumpet mouthpiece, a Bach 22, on this, and if you remember last time, I talked about uh, using uh, King Flugabone as a bass trumpet, but this is a little bit different. Okay, so the parts for this, uh, not many, uh, mostly from the Ring Cycle by Wagner and uh, the uh, Janacek Symphonietta, which also has two tenor tubas in addition to two bass trumpets pitched in B flats. <laughs> euphonium day and this is an instrument that uh, many of you have heard me play over the years and this is the fifth of the meet the instrument series although you probably have met this one already I played it on a lot of recitals uh, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of background information so I started uh, as as most of you know I started out on trombone I have three degrees in trombone well one in music education and two in trombone um, but in grad school at this place, at Baylor, I started taking lessons on euphonium.
Good morning. So this is the sixth in a series of Meet the Instruments, and today I have the first trombone in the, uh, in, in the mix here. I've saved it a little bit for last because you've heard me play these before. So today I give you the horn that if I was stranded on a desert island, okay, and had one trombone to, to, uh, to have, I was stranded and I had one, I would choose this horn. This is the Bach 36, closed wrap, okay? and this is number seven of Meet the Instruments. And today I'm going to introduce you to my newest instrument, okay? And that is this French horn right here. This is a double French horn. It has a very interesting story that I'm going to tell you. It is very shiny, very pretty, and sounds absolutely fantastic. Okay, so this is actually two horns. Now you say, okay, double horn, yes, it's two horns. But this is literally two horns, okay? So this part right here, these wonderful valves, are from a Holton Farkas 379, okay? And you can tell it's 379 because this little slide doesn't move right here, okay? Um, then, so that's this wonderful, beautiful double horn. Uh, and then this beautiful bell right here is off of a Con 8D. Okay, so you've got two horns here. From up here, it's con, and from down here, it is a Holton. Okay, this wonderful expert job was done by Joe Selzmansberger at Mid-South Music, uh, using a new technique, I might add, to... Uh, Good morning. So today, starting to bring out the big stuff, okay? And the first one I've got today is my E-flat tuba. And yes, I have a lot to say about it. First of all, that was a passage from a new tuba piece called Hexagon by Anne McGinty. Okay, you know, the person who writes beginning band music and also other cool things. So this is a tuba pitched in E flat, okay, which puts it a perfect fourth above the B flat tuba, which I will show you soon, okay? By the way, this is the eighth in a series of Meet My Instruments by Dr. Morse, okay? So this is E flat tuba. Uh, I told you when I was on the euphonium chapter that uh, I love having the fourth valve right here. This is Dr. Morse, and today is number eight in a series of Meet My Instruments. And you've heard this one quite a bit over the years. This is my E-flat alto trombone, and uh, it's a Con 36H. <laughs> Zebra Migration, a uh, duet for tubas uh, by Greg Fritz, great friend of mine. Um, so today, 
I got a big one, okay? So this is the 10th in a series of Meet My Instruments. And today we have a B-flat contrabass tuba, okay? Love this horn. Um, it's just fantastic. It is a King 2341 four valve B-flat tuba with the upright bell. It also has a recording bell. If you really want to punch, okay? This thing's great for anything from uh, New Orleans jazz to uh, solo or whatever, and repair parts are all over the place for these things, okay? Um, this horn was, uh, I think, in the late 70s, something like that, but absolutely fantastic horn. And I should tell you that I'm playing a Selzmansberger Orchestra Grand mouthpiece. <laughs> This is number 11 in Meet Dr. Morse's Instruments, and that was a little bit of the beginning from Rock by Alan Ray. Uh, so today, my bass trombone, which you've heard a whole recital on this if you've been following me. So let's talk a little bit about other things, okay, and why I choose this specific instrument or instruments, okay? So bass trombone, I've been uh, playing since uh, about six, seven years now, and my, perf my primary performance uh, outlet is I am the bass trombone in the Jackson Symphony, okay? And uh, that has been uh, a really, really great experience for me. Uh, what I'm playing is a J.P. Rath single valve bass trombone, okay? And very, very economical, and it just sounds great. <laughs> Dr. Morris, and this is number 12 in a series of Meet My Instruments, the final installment, at least until I learn or buy some more instruments. So the last one today is my T396 Edwards Trenor Trombone, okay? 